Well, let's talk a bit more about what has unfolded today. Our counterterrorism expert, Wasim Nasser, is on the line. Uh, Wasim, what are your thoughts as to the circumstances of the president's death? This reportedly uh, while visiting troops who are fighting rebels near Libya. Well, actually, there is uh, two versions. The first version goes like he went to the town by the name of Mau and then moved to the front because he thought that they were winning and he was surprised by uh, by some uh, rebel groups and then he got uh, he got killed during this uh, confrontation other local sources the rebel sources talk about a sniper shooting at him and uh, and hitting him but there's another most plausible version given by uh, the french journalist uh, philippe chaplot where he says that there was a meeting that was set in the town of mao between these Deby and uh, rebel leaders and during the meeting, things went out of control, and there was a shooting, and this is how Idis Dibi was killed. And what confirms mostly this version is the fact that along him, many high-ranking officers were killed. So, uh, tactically speaking, if, uh, a gun, uh, if a gunfire goes on in a room, it is plausible to kill many people in like, this kind of concentration of high-ranking officers, while during a confrontation, it is mo most unlikely uh, for the rebels to be able to kill Idris Deby, the president, and most of his high-ranking officers at the same time uh, on the spot. So this is what we know uh, as far as uh, the last uh, few minutes uh, regarding the circumstances of his death. All right, well, Steve Nasser, thank you very much uh, for trying to piece together for us what we, uh, what we know happened uh, today.